Hi, welcome to Community Foundation Focus. I'm Karen Wendelin, the Executive Director of the Piqua Community Foundation. We named our program Foundation Focus because each time we come to you, we focus in on one activity or one function of the Piqua Community Foundation. But as always, if you're interested in more information, I would encourage you to visit our website, which is piquacommunityfoundation.org, or you can call me at the office at 615-9080, and I'd be glad to talk to you about anything that has to do with the Community Foundation. Our Foundation's mission is to encourage charitable giving that will benefit people in our Piqua area. And probably the most visible way we do that in the Piqua community is through our annual fundraiser, Cakes for a Cause. So today, I'm in the studio with Sharon Samani. Um, Sharon is a member of our Board of Directors, and she's also the chairperson this year again for Cakes for a Cause. So Sharon, thank you so much for being here today, and thanks for agreeing to chair again this year. Thank you, Karen. It's always a pleasure. Enjoy working with you. Well, good. It's, it is one of those activities that there's a lot of behind-the-scenes work that people don't see. And I I think it's just really important to the foundation um, in order for this to be successful to have somebody good in the chair. So I appreciate you being there and doing that for us. Um, let's just start at the very beginning with basic information about this year's event, maybe the time, the place, the date. Okay. The auction this year is going to be held on Friday, April 22nd at the Miami Valley Center Mall. Uh, and actually, people can start coming out and looking at our cakes Thursday, the day before, after 5 p.m., up until the time the auction starts on Friday at noon. So it's, it's always a great event. We always have a lot of uh, individuals who, whether they're shopping or not, stop by and check out all the cakes that we have year after year. So it's a lot of fun and we encourage everyone to do the same this year. Exactly. And this would probably be a good time to thank Peggy Henthorne and all of her staff out at the Miami Valley Center Mall. It's really a perfect venue for this event because, as, as you said, people might just be shopping mm -hmm. and they'll see the cakes and stop by and, and check that out. And, and kind of in reverse, people who come out to see the cakes might stop by and buy something too. So I think it's good for the mall and it's good for us. Um, the auction last year, Sharon also chaired, and let's just talk a little bit about how successful that was last year. It was awesome. We had 86 total cakes on display last year, and many of the bids were taken by phone as well as placed uh, in person. People who would come out and they would sign a bid sheet and uh, get a cake that way. Uh, we also had a VIP auction on Thursday evening the night uh, before, which was very successful. And we had four special cakes with incentives, which brought in about $1,800. So we started off with a good, we good sum well. of money. So all in all, the proceeds from the entire event were over $15,000. And the money that is raised from this one event goes toward the grant-making fund for the Piqua Community Foundation. That's right. And I think the people who know us here in the community either know us as grant makers or they know us from Cakes for a Cause. And it's nice that those two are, are related. Um, for anybody who's never been to the auction before, let's talk a little bit about how Cakes for a Cause actually works. Well, <laughs> we start sending out uh, invitations for this event in February, and those who want to participate uh, are asked to reserve a spot by March the 20th, or as soon as possible. In this case, I think we have probably about 20-some cakes already reserved. We do. With incentives. So anyone who didn't get an invitation is encouraged to call 615-9080. And those who are entering a cake can either bake it or they can hire a baker. Um, the cakes are going to include incentives, which helps boost the bidders, uh, uh, which helps boost the, what am I trying to say? The, it, it, the, the, boosts, amount, the amounts of the bid. The amounts right, of, right. yeah. And so we get a lot of people who uh, do come out and they bid on not only the cakes, but they get some fantastic incentives as well. That's correct. And as Sharon said, the deadline for entering a cake is March 20th. But if you're watching this um, show and it's after March 20th, please do give us a call at the office at 615-9080. Um, we usually leave a little extra space for those who are a little bit late or maybe have just heard about the event. But um, we do need everyone to pre-register. You can't just show up that day with a cake because normally we do have between 80 and 90 cakes and we ha need a lot of table space for that many cakes so we don't have a lot of extra space for people mm -hmm. who would just decide at the last minute. So it is important to contact, 
contact the office. Again, our number is 615-9080, and we'd love for you to call us and, and ask any questions, really, but especially if you're interested in registering. Sharon talked a little bit about the incentives, and I think the real key to the auction is the incentives that come with the cake. So let's say a little bit about, about incentives right. and how that works. The ins incentives as to what uh, we previously said are what drives the bidding up. Uh, we've had a number of very successful incentives, in, including tickets to the Dayton Dragons, uh, the Cincinnati Reds games, shows at the Schuster Center and La Comedia, and more. Dinners and overnight stays, flowers each month for a year, so and day uh, spa packages and many services, gift baskets and gift cards. So there's a real eclectic mix of incentives that come with the cakes and I think that's always exciting for a lot of people who are looking for something special for either themselves or for a friend as a gift. Absolutely and, and some of the incentives that we have are things that almost beg for you to get together with your friends and bid together. Every year we have people who are willing to put in a cake and their incentive is throwing a party. Mm -hmm. So maybe if it's a party for eight, you might get four couples that get together and, and pool their money and bid mm -hmm. on that cake and they get to attend the party. Um, those kinds of things are hard, it's hard to define, but the excitement and the energy and the bidding is pretty intense on some of those party um, events. So as, as people find out about what the cakes are, and, and this would be a good time to mention maybe that shortly before the event, the entire list of cakes and incentives and the time that each cake is auctioned will be on our website. Again, it's PiquaCommunityFoundation.org. And by checking that, anytime after April 15th, you'll be able to see, oh, here's a party, you know, a pizza mm -hmm. party for 12 or something. And then maybe you get together with your friends and decide to bid on that. So again, it's always good to know ahead of time what the incentives are, what the time is that the cake will be auctioned, and that will give you the opportunity to, to jump in and bid. Um, each year we have a theme. Let's talk a little bit about this year's theme. This year's theme is Games People Play. Um, we have a committee that uh, comes up with these theme ideas year after year, and it's always yeah. fun to see uh, what the cakes are going to represent. Uh, games People Play, uh, it could be like a game show, it could be a board game, um, we were just talking with someone earlier who said they were talking about maybe doing a Monopoly game, uh, cake. Um, you've heard of some other ones as oh, well. Some sporting type games, some mm -hmm. sports that people take part in. So um, not every cake has to adhere to the theme, but it seems like each year people have a lot of fun with the theme, whatever, whatever it is. And there is a special theme prize that is uh, voted by our judges. We do have a panel of of impartial judges, which do not include Sharon and myself, um, so don't bribe. So don't, don't bribe us. We we can't be bribed. Um, but the judges always choose something that really you know goes along with the theme, and people have a lot of fun with that. I was speaking with Cindy Dobo at Dobo's Delights, who is another one of our sponsors and provides us with cake for our for our um, Thursday night party, and she's got some really good ideas for some of her cakes. But I don't want to give those away, so that yeah, no one Cindy else comes will. up with. Uh, she bakes about what 30, 35 of these Sometimes, cakes. Sometimes yes, uh, up to almost I think thirty was probably the most yeah. that she ever did. But she. Um, you know, people that are that own bakeries just tend to be creative, and she comes up with some amazing ideas for cakes. So even if you're not really, if you're not going to put a cake in, it's worth coming out to see the cakes because they are truly works of art. They're not just a cake, generally. They're, right. They're something amazing. So um, if you are interested in buying a cake, let's talk a little bit about the auction itself and how people can go about buying a cake. Okay. The cake is going to be broadcast. Uh, the auctions could be broadcast for all five hours from 12 uh, noon to 5 p.m. on the 21st, uh, 22nd, 22nd, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, WPTW's uh, radio and streaming coverage uh, for those without TV access, they can bid that way. Um, a few of the special cakes will be auctioned uh, live on Thursday evening at the Baker's Party. Uh, and again, these cakes have uh, incentives that can make them stand out from the rest. Last year, we uh, the, the four included an Oktoberfest, which yours truly was part of. Uh, Mary Frances Rodriguez hosted that, and we really had a good time uh, with the Oktoberfest. There was also a cake, and the incentive was be a fireman for a day. Right, the, uh, the firefighters union. 
put that cake in. Right, and we also had Young Life students with mulch who would mulch your yard, right. and also a round of golf for four people. So we made an enormous amount of money just on four cakes right. and four incentives. So that's another way that people can follow the auction is by coming out that Thursday evening. Right. Uh, the auction is self starts it's at about, about six about right six about p.m six mm -hmm. and anybody can anybody can come out to the mall and see the cakes mm -hmm. there is a special chamber of commerce business after hours party that's going on at that time in conjunction with cakes for a cause and all the people who donated cakes so there's usually a huge crowd out there and that's why we thought it would be fun to actually do the live auction but as sharon said if you're interested in uh, in purchasing a cake but you're not able to be there thursday night or you're not, you're not able to be there live on Friday between noon and 5. Um, if you're listening to the radio on WPTW or if you're watching the broadcast, which is all five hours here on Pickwick's Channel 5, or you can stream it online on the Channel 5 website, or you can listen or watch digital television station 5-104. And if you're on, on the TV or your computer or the radio, you would call in and you can bid by calling in and the number to call is 778-3422 but you don't need to remember that because if you're listening to the broadcast we're going to tell you that many many times um, but the whole idea is to have a good time with us to have some fun and to raise some money that we can use to help make more grants within the Piqua community so um, let's just briefly go through again how people in the community might want to take part in the event well as we mentioned before some people will just want to simply enter a cake so that provides them with an opportunity to participate. Everyone can also view the cakes at the mall, and again, that's either Thursday night after 5 p.m. or Friday morning prior to the beginning of the auction at 12 noon. Right. Uh, they can either pre-bid again Thursday evening or Friday morning, watch Channel 5 online or on TV, listen or stream on the WPTW station or website and also bid. And they can also vote on the People's Choice Award cake. Oh gosh, we didn't talk about People's Choice, but anyone who's at the mall and sees the cakes, um, there will be little ballots around the cake area where you can pick up the ballot. Just vote for your favorite cake and put it in the ballot box. And actually at the end of the event, when we announce the winner of the People's Choice Award, there's a beautiful silver and crystal trophy that they get to be the uh, owners of for one year until next year. It's a traveling trophy, but um, there's a lot of, uh, how shall we say, jockeying for position among the voters for People's Choice. So we, we appreciate it when anyone comes out and votes in the People's Choice. So um, we've talked about, about people that are doing cakes, but really there are a number of different divisions, and I don't think we've talked about that, the different kinds mm -hmm. of people or groups that can put cakes into the event. Um, that would include nonprofit organizations, corporations, individual people like Sharon and her friends who did the party last year. We have a youth division for 18 years and younger. Now in the youth division, those, those cakes do need to be decorated by the person who is donating them. Whereas, as Sharon said, if you're interested in putting in a cake as a business or an, or an adult individual or a nonprofit, you can have a bakery bake your cake right. or you can do it yourself. And then um, the advertising that that someone gets when they put in their cake is, we think is really pretty special because during the five hour broadcast here on Channel 5, we do a commercial for every organization or person who puts in a cake. So those will help maybe publicize your businesses. Maybe you have a big special thing going on in the spring or a nonprofit that has an event coming up. It gives you an opportunity to get that word out to people who might not know about your group. So we do like to be able to help publicize those people who are who are helping us as part of the as part of the journey. So and, and most importantly, the cakes and the incentives, uh, the money that's made from them are donations to the Piqua Community Foundation and they fully qual qualify as charitable contributions. Absolutely. As long as you don't eat your own cake, you that's get right. to take it as a contribution. And it is fun. It is fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, we talked a little bit about cakes. I don't know that we mentioned the cupcake division. A couple of years ago, we started a cupcake division, so those people who are threatened by decorating a huge cake can bake cupcakes, and that's been kind of fun too, I think. People have had a good time with that. Um, I think now we're going to take a few minutes and, and take you through a little uh, photo gallery of the cakes that were award winners last year. 
If you're interested in doing a cake this year but you've never seen the cakes, you can actually view all of last year's cakes on the Pickle Community Foundation website. Again, that's PickleCommunityFoundation.org. Um, but we're going to share with you now some pictures of some of last year's award-winning cakes. And you want to start with the theme category winner? The theme category winner for 2015 was Brittany's Cakes. Right. That was um, donated by Brittany, well, it was donated and baked by Brittany's Cakes, which is a bakery in Troy. And that cake was um, a gorgeous tower of film canisters, like last year's theme was Take 10, I guess mm -hmm, we should say that. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it, it was in honor of our 10th anniversary, but it also um, took a look at anything that was based on 10, and the Take 10 reminded a lot of people of film, so they, they did a whole stack of, of film cans, which was gorgeous. It was very creative with the popcorn as a part of the decorations. Yeah, very and movie. Soda is really neat. Very movie. Okay. Um, first place in the corporate division was McDonald's. Was McDonald's, and that cake was baked by Dobo's Delights. I think their theme was 10 of the best selling products at McDonald's because their cake was made up, at, as you can see on the, on the picture there, of, of many different McDonald's orders. <laughs> you have a, a filet of fish and a Big Mac. And, and they had fries, they had right. drinks. They had drinks, they had everything, all made out of it cake. It was so realistic looking too. It was. it was, it was beautiful. And McDonald's has always been a great sponsor of Cakes for a Cause as well. Um, next, we might want to look at the first place in the individual entrance. And that was Cheryl and Jim Burkhart. Right. Cheryl and Jim have, for many years, um, helped with the Community Foundation in this way. And Jim in the community is known as Dr. Beer. So last year, their cake looked like a big tub of ice with a bunch of beers cooling. And their incentive was a beer tasting where um, you got to bring a group of people to their home and taste a bunch of different beers and learn all about beer from Jim. That cake was baked by Rhonda's Cakes and More, which I believe is in Bell Fountain, so. Okay, our non-profit uh, entry winner was Edison Community College. And theirs was a beautiful a display of 10 books. And with the theme that, you know, you can take 10 books or 10 classes out at Edison. That cake was baked by Kelly Hart of Sweetheart Cakes, and Kelly has been a winner before with us in some of her entries in other years. Okay, youth entry winners were Camilla and Alexandra Nicholas. Right, and their cake um, features a volcano that was um, spewing lava, I guess, lava icing down the side of the cake with um, flowers and a waterfall and palm trees. It, very beautiful. It was. Beautiful it's gorgeous. Cake. It's kind of fun to see what the kids come up with. Oh, yeah. They get very creative, you know, and it, it draws the attention of a lot of other children it and does. parents. So that's one of our more popular divisions. It is. And that was that was a beautiful cake. That could have been a professionally done cake, as, as beautiful as it was. And then the cupcake winner from last year was Forest Hill Cemetery. Um, who got very creative with their dozen cupcakes. It looks like six pair of shoes. I think those are adorable. They were adorable. They look like ruby red slippers, a couple of them, and I don't know how they did that. No, but. each one, it's kind of hard to see in the picture, but each one has a cupcake at where the ball of the foot mm -hmm, would be on mm -hmm. the shoe. And then the, the heel, heel was made up by some kind of a tall cookie, I think. Right, it was, right. They were, they were very well done, and that was, that was a, a, an entry that was made by an individual person, not a professional baker. It was Bev Collett, who was the manager of Forest Hill Cemetery. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the business okay. manager, she actually did that one. So, okay, um, our, our um, judges awards are special awards that the judges make just because they think those cakes are very interesting and, and they didn't maybe win in their own mm -hmm. division. So the first of the judges awards in no particular order, I guess, was Eagle's Wings Riding Stable, which is a nonprofit organization. Um, this cake was made by Natalie Heath, who's a volunteer at Eagle's Wings. So that was a beautiful cake. Um, next, Piqua Compassion Network. They had a really interesting take on Take 10. 
Um, their theme was the master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. <laughs> and they had 10 attempts to make a cake. And it was t it's 10 separate cakes. And each one up to the end had a problem. Yeah, <laughs> so they and even the 10th cake, it said, instead of saying that's a wrap, it said it, that's a warp. So that was even a mistake. So <laughs> I, I thought that was really cute. Yeah, it was, a, it was an ingenious method to work uh, a fun idea into mm -hmm. the theme for the year. Um, another judge's award was won by the Piqua Fire Department, the Fire Department Union. Again, this is the one that we talked about that Mary Frances Rodriguez um, and Nancy Armstrong, her sister, baked, and it was part of our um, VIP auction. And they did photographs of, in icing of each of the firefighters mm -hmm. in the Piqua Department along with a fire truck with the crane and the whole thing. So that, the judges awarded a special um, prize. And there was also a special award for um, Dobos Delights cake that they entered with Read More Hallmark. And in the interest of Take 10, it was a 10-layer Buckeye cake. And you can see their Brutus Buckeye on top of the cake. So um, that, was, that, was a, that was a beautiful cake as well. Um, the high bid trophy each year goes to the cake that brings in the most money for the Community Foundation. And last year, that trophy was won um, along with the Corporate Challenge Trophy by Unity National Bank. And the Corporate Challenge Trophy goes to the business that spends the most money buying their own cake back. And Unity Bank always does some kind of crazy fun events for their associates to encourage them to donate to the Community Foundation. Their cake was baked by Debbie Robart, who is an associate, associate at, yep. at Unity National Bank. And then the People's Choice Trophy was won by Miami Valley Steel Service, and their cake uh, featured a blue dragon that was, I guess, starting the film on fire. Breathing fire on and the, the uh, films, and the, the theme was 10 smoking hot years. Yeah, which, very was, clever. which was very clever. And that cake was baked by Sweeter, Sweeter Side of Life. So we want to just thank everyone who donated cakes last year and everyone who is donating a cake this year. Again, if you would like any more information or you'd like a packet to uh, enter a cake yourself, we would encourage you to contact us at the Pickle Community Foundation office at 615 9080, or you can go onto our website, pickwickcommunityfoundation.org, and click the Contact Us link, and then just leave your name and your address, and we'll make sure you get the information. Again, I just want to thank Sharon for being here today with me, and also for all your hard work with Cakes for a Cause. Wow. Well, um, thank really thank you, event. Karen. You do an awesome job, oh, and we have a terrific you. committee. As Karen said, it takes a lot of people to make this event occur, occur. and so uh, we're very thankful for our committee members and all the volunteers who come out yes. the day of the auction to help us run this successful event that benefits yes. so many in our community. And you know what, I, I don't think that I have, but I need to take a minute just to thank all of our other corporate sponsors and helpers. Hartzell Propeller every year um, sends us the technology help we need to be able to connect the Channel 5 studio to the Piqua Miami Valley Center Mall so that we can instantaneously know what the bids are. Um, they are they're wonderful at helping us with with technology because that's not really mm -hmm. our main. It's not um, our daily work. No, it is not. <laughs> and I also want to extend our thanks to WPTW and to WOTVC, Pickwa Channel Five, both of whom help us to broadcast this so that people can that's actually right. take part. We want to again thank Miami Valley Center Mall for the great job that they do in providing us with space and help and trash cans and anything else we happen to need when we're out at the mall. And just all of those organizations or people who make a financial contribution in lieu of a cake, um, that money helps us to pay our phone bill and do everything else we need to, to keep this rolling and to make it work. So again, we just thank everyone in the community for sponsoring this. And we hope that you'll all join us again this year for Cakes for a Cause on April 21st and April 22nd. So thanks very much for tuning in today and we hope to see you again real soon.